so today in this session we will learn the how to represent an optically active molecule so these are the different type of representation one is the wage dash formula so this formula is meant for a three dimension molecule second is fisher projection formula so this is for the uh, two dimension molecule and uh, next is interconversion of 3d into 2d so where you are converting uh, this fee, uh, wage dash into the fisher projection then we will learn again uh, interconversion of 2d into 3d is reverse of this one next is conversion of the sawhorse and neumann projection formula in fisher and vice versa so let us see all this conversion one by one the first is uh, wage dash formula so we have to take the three dimensional molecule so uh, let us see what is the meaning of wage dash wage dash means uh, when the line is represented like this so this is a thick one and this is a narrowing down so this is a wage dash and reverse of this one this is, you can see this is a narrow line and this is broadening so this is a dash line so wage line and dash line and this is the what well, is straight line is called solid line so there are three type of representation of this line is there so we'll see uh, in this examples of this uh, different type of representation so this is one compound so this is a carbon and x y z and hydrogen there are different four groups are present so in this case uh, you can see uh, these two groups are in the plane these two groups hydrogen x in, in the plane while the this uh, dash is behind this paper of the plane and this z is behind this carbon while this y is you can see this is towards the observer means i am reading this one so this y is actually the above the molecule above means here here is y and this z is behind this carbon so for behind you can see this is the uh, broadening part of the dash and it is narrowing down because it is going away from the observer so it is decreasing and it is coming towards the observer means it is above this carbon y is above this carbon so it is written as the y so this is the uh, it is broadening why because it is coming towards the observer so you have to uh, learn this representation properly second way you can represent like this two uh, x and z so this is towards the observer means z is towards here and x is towards here and y is behind this carbon means behind this paper of the plane and h is h uh, ch is along the plane and third way you can represent this is z and y so this is same like this one so z and x is towards the observer means here and y is uh, below this plane and x is here for example you can see this is the uh, one compound so in this compound this is a methyl so methyl and c2h5 is along the paper but cl is above so this direction is cl uh, while this hydrogen is below this carbon below this carbon means below this paper so below this paper one is above this paper so cl is here while this hydrogen is below this carbon so this becomes a three dimension molecule this is the one representation of wage dash formula second representation is your fisher representation so in this representation we can see uh, this is the uh, cho hydrogen oh and ch2h now in this case what happens these two plants ch and ch2h so this is on vertical line okay so this is written below the plane of the paper means this is away from the observer while hydrogen oh is along the horizontal line this is horizontal line this is the vertical line this will go down this will go down means below the paper this is above the paper so this is oh like this one and hydrogen is like this one where ch will go down and ch2 oh will also go down so these two are above the plane of paper means towards the observer and these oh is again uh, this is uh, ch2 and ch2 oh is away from the observer so just to go through this line is nothing is very easy to understand now next is our 2d to 3d or 3u t so we are converting so this is the three dimension structure ch oh ch2 oh and hydrogen so or you can write like this one this is the ch and ch2 oh so this is along the plane so if you want to just if you see from this side if your eyes is visualizing from this side this is your eyes if you see so this will go behind the plane so behind the plane means we can write like this one and this is on left hand side and this is on right hand side like this one so we can represent this along the horizontal and this is the uh, this is the uh, writing of 3d into 2d so this is your uh, wage and dash formula and this is your fisher projection formula so in this way we can convert 3d into 2d like this similarly there are other structures of fisher projections so a and b and c and d if you uh, visualize from here if your eyes is from here so you can see the d will be your left hand side so this is your left so this is your left and c is your right so this is right and this is along the 
uh, vertical line so this is just below the plane of paper similarly in this you can see a and b and d and c so if your eyes is, is so from here if you see from this side so this is the b and b if you see from this side so this c will become where left hand side this will go right hand side and a will be along the plane or if you can just uh, rotate it like this one on rotating b will come this side so c will go down the plane and d will go above the plane if you are rotating like this one means uh, such a way that uh, you give one rotation so b will come this side so definitely the d will come above the plane c will go down the plane so if you see from here again you will get the same structures similarly in this case so this is a and b so if you give one rotation on rotation what will happen so a and b so b will be what happens so b will replace d here it will go below the plane and d will come this side so this side means it will come above the plane and c will be this side so both will be above the plane now if you want to see this one so d and c d in left hand side c is in the right hand side this is left this is right so this is left and this is right and a and c are sorry a and so a and b this will be along the plane if you are observing from this side so these two are towards the observer and these two are away from the observer similarly in the in this case this is the a and b and this is d so here d is away and c is away so what we will do so we will take one rotation if you do one rotation like this one in such a way that b will come this side so c will go behind the plane d will go above the plane now if you watch you will get this one if you watch from here this is left hand side this is right hand side so we will get the c is your left hand side and d is your right hand side and this is the vertical side so whenever you will get this all these all different type of cases just uh, repeat this uh, whole paper once again and uh, you will understand how to write this uh, from uh, wage dash to feature uh, feature projections now next is that uh, chohn hydrogen and coh so how we can write, uh, so write this in feature projections so this is your vertical line this is horizontal line so horizontal line is you can write uh, like this in oh and h or you can write above the plane so we can also write like this one so this is the uh, cho means this is your again uh, cho and this is the carbon and this is again your coh and this is above the plane you can also write like this one this is the hydrogen and this is your OH. this is also your uh, all a way of writing or if you keep your eyes over here so you will get this projection again so if you see from here, CHN is away from the object, uh, eyes, so it is a down the plane like this one, and OH is left hand side, and this is a right hand respectively. So while writing, drawing the uh, three dimensional formula from 2D, so it is better to draw the group at the lower end of the vertical line towards the right hand side. So here hydrogen is the lower group, that's why it is written right hand side. So you will learn more in the uh, next topics. Now identification of several feature projections so how we can identify the several feature projections so there are some rules a b c and d now if you exchange this one so if you give one 80 degree rotation the so c will go this side d will go this side so one time exchange a b is remain constant this is fixed so c will come this side and d comes. so this is uh, this Come a structure is nothing but it is a enantiomer of this one. What is enantiomer? Enantiomer means this is a mirror image of this one. So you have to remember uh, this compound different compound, this compound different compound. But these are the both are isomers, but their rotations are different by only one rotation. So let us see this example: the CHO, CH2OH, and hydrogen. OH. So if you exchange this one, you can write in terms of uh, your wage and dash also. On exchanging, you will get HOH and CH2OH. CH, 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 so this is again an enantiomer. So both are enantiomers. This is in wedge dash. So in one exchange, you will get the enantiomer of this compound. Now next rule is CHOOH and hydrogen CH2H. So if you do one exchange, one exchange means hydrogen will come this side and CH2 this side. This is one exchange. Again, second exchange this side. So hydrogen exchanging with the OH. So you will get this compound. So when you are doing two exchanges, when you are two, the two is an even number. So when you are doing even number of interchanges or exchanges two, four, six, so they will always give the same isomers or same stereomers. So this and this compound one and three are the again stereomers or they can be identical compounds. But one and two, this will be your enantiomers. So when you are doing odd number of interchanges or exchanges like one, three, five, you will always get enantiomers. When you are doing in even number of interchanges or exchanges, you will get the Stereomers means identical isomers. So one and three are the same feature projection or same isomers.
again in this case you can see uh, CHO, CH2OH, hydrogen OH. So if you do one ATG rotation, so you will get again in enzymer. But again, if you do exchange like this one, this is the third row. So one interchange this one, one interchange this one, two interchange there. So again, one and three will be our same Fisher projection. So you have to remember this thing. So one is horizontal rotation, one is the vertical rotation. So on doing this one, you will get this one. So one exchanges, two exchanges, and this is the cross exchanges. Next is your Sawhorse and Newman projection formula. So we have seen Fisher and vice versa. So this is one compound in your Fisher projections. So these two are compounds are written above the plane and these two are compound is written below the plane. Below, below the plane means away from the observer. So let us convert into your uh, Sawhorse so projection. So COH will go down, this will go down and these two will be up like this one. So now if you rotate by 180 degree centigrade, 180 degree, so all rotation 180 degree, so this will go up like this one. So you have two OH in opposite side, in this case two OH in same side. So this is a representation of the your feature into the sawhorse projections. Next is our, again this is your uh, feature projections. So if you can draw this two in opposite side, means down positions. Now if you do 180 rotations, so this will go up. Then OH will go this side, H will go this side, in down position. So you get two OHs in again, same side. So this is the representation of the Sawhorse projection of this formula. Now this is the Newman projections. The COH, COH, so we can convert into the Sawhorse projection. So this is down, this is up, you can see this is up. This one is up, this is up, this is down, this is up. This is the behind the plane. So HOH behind is, and this is in front of this one. So if you do one rotation, you will get this projection. So this is a new one to uh, sawhorse projection. Again, second example, you can see uh, COH, COH, 2H in same side. So this is this one, this is behind the plane. And if you do 180 rotations and up, so you will get this structure. And if you do 120 rotations, so COH come this side, you will get again uh, your sawhorse projection. So I think you have understood how to convert a new one to Fisher, Fisher to new one or sawhorse projections. This is again same HOH, this is uh, down the plane, this is the above the plane. Okay, so you can convert the source projections like this. So HOH in again up, this is 2 in down, so like this. So we can uh, rotate and take any type of shapes. So this is Newman and source projections. Now, next we will take uh, some problems. So how to solve all these problems? So in this case, draw the Fisher projection formula of these compounds A, B, C and D. So let us uh, solve all these questions. Now, this is the first example. Now, if you try to see from this side, so on observing from this side, so this two in again in front of the eyes, this is two away from the eyes. So you will get a structure like this one. So this is your uh, CS3, this is your CS3, CS2, and this will be your hydrogen, and this is again CS2OH. Now, in this case, uh, this is the on one plane. So if you see your eyes from here, so what will happen? OH and hydrogen, this is left hand side, this is right hand side. So you can draw the diagram like this. The left hand side is OH, hydrogen, and this is the along the plane, and this is the CH2OH. This is the Fisher projection. Now in this case, if you put your eyes over here, same thing is there. So again, you will get COH here, uh, CS3 here, and this is NS2 this side, and hydrogen this side. In this case, uh, yes, see from this side. On seeing, uh, this is your uh, left hand side, this is right hand side. And if you see from here, this is a left hand side, this is right hand side. And these two is down. So you can write like this one. So this is uh, a structure. So on seeing this carbon 1, this carbon 2, so this is the carbon 1, carbon 2. So this is the CHO group and this is the CH2 OH group. So carbon 1, OH is again this side, right hand side, this is left hand side. Seeing from this side and seeing from this side means from this side. So hydrogen will come this side and OH will come this side. So this is the answer of all these four questions. Now convert wage formula to Fisher formula. This is wage formula. We are converting Fisher formula. So if you see, use your eyes from here. So again you can see this structure. So this is the ammonia, this is the hydrogen, NH2 group and this will be your COH and this is your again your uh, CS3 groups. If you are seeing from here, so seeing from here, so this will come uh, left side. If you put it left side, this hydrogen away from the right side, so this will go this type of shapes. 
Now in this case, if you try to observe from this side. So what will happen? You will get like this structure. This is the CHO, this is the CH2OH and this hydrogen left hand side and this OH is your again right hand side. This is the left and this is the right hand side. Similarly, we can draw for these structures. Convert fissure formula into the waste formula. So in this case, this for these structures, so take this is like this one, this one and this one. This is the COH and C2H5 in the on the plane. Now in this case, hydrogen will be uh, away from the observer and OH will be your towards the observer. Now in this case, so we'll write like this is the BR so, and this is the hydrogen. So we can write uh, CH3 will be your away from the observer and again uh, CH will be your towards the observer. Or you can write like this also, uh, this is the BR and this is the hydrogen. This is the BR and this is the hydrogen. There is two of writing. So in this case, CH3 will be your uh, CHO. This is the CHO. This CHO will be your again. This is your, this is the CS3. This is the towards the observer and CHO will be away from the observer. Means the reverse of this one. Means if you just uh, hold by hand and just rotate it. So on rotating hydrogen will come this side and this will go away from the observer. This will be your towards the observer. So now we have next uh, convert Sahos formula into the Fischer formula. So how we can convert? So we can see here this is the bromine, methyl, hydrogen and this is COH. So we can write into this shape like um, draw the structures and hydrogen, methyl. So this is your hydrogen, this is your methyl. This is the COH. So again if you draw it, so this will be your methyl and this is your hydrogen. This is the bromine. So we will get this structure from here. From B. So if you draw the structures. So just you rotate it. This one on rotation. You will get a structure like this one. So this is your uh, COH. This is hydrogen. This is methyl. And this structure already we have. Methyl, hydrogen and bromine. So now we can draw the structures easily. So this is your COH. This is your BR. This is your methyl. This is your hydrogen. This is methyl, this is hydrogen. So in this, these two structure is down. Okay. So we can convert like this by rotation this one. So if you keep down this one, so we will get a structures like this one. So these two are up. So this will be your methyl, hydrogen. This is the COH. In this case on rotation, BR down. So this is the BR down. So on downing, you will get this side is hydrogen, this side is Methyl. So we have drawn this structure because these two structures will be down, these two are up. So these two are horizontal structure, these two are here below the plane of papers.